the independent variable problem solving is a dependent variable right fine to study the effect of noise pollution on speed of writing oh very interesting yeah we do get disturbed by while writing right the speed reduces in the exam is silence silence so noise pollution is the independent variable and speed of writing is the dependent variable right you got it correct now effect of color on perception oh yes especially girls love this no the color and perception thing right uh, so uh, color is the independent variable and perception depends on the color so perception is the dependent variable right now study in the effect of feedback on decision making okay so feedback is the independent variable and decision making is the dependent variable right got it yeah so you may be wondering why i'm doing this in detail experimental because people always don't understand this and this is so very easy now right i hope it is it sure is uh now conduct the experiment and find out whether the color of the text has any impact on memory yes it does no i think i, I think so okay so what do you do you assign participants to two groups okay and you see that age gender cultural background is of the same you know so you can have only girls or only boys of the same age and the same cultural background you know you can't have have africans and indians in the same group because maybe they are different you never know so ask one group to read a list of 20 words written in black ink for 5 minutes second group reads a list of same 20 words but green ink wow after 5 minutes ask them to rewrite recall compare the scores and conclude and then you can understand okay is it linked with color green green beauty queen something like that okay fine so you have done that experiment congrats now second is survey method now survey is very very easy dear survey method is a research method uh, wherein you just collect uh, info uh, gather data from respondents sample or participants right on topics of like political views or whatever consumers preference or whatever it is so you make you make questionnaires you make checklists you make rating scales you make interviews right this is the and the used by social psychologist educational psychologist industrial psychologist fine it is very effective and cost uh, cost effective and you can also do it using mail telephonic google form no telephonic calls or directly we'll be talking with the individuals so this is very easy and this was very short right now next observation method observation you directly observe the person either naturally or artificially okay so it, it can be natural or artificial observing you uh, ob observe a chimpanzee naturally go to the jungle or bring the chimpanzee in the zoo and observe right so it is used by child psychologists clinical in the hospitals they use it right and social psychologists they all use this see these are very easy ones right now next you have the case study case study depends on in depth analysis of one person in depth look at individual or group or event right so case case study means in depth study of one and collects information from various sources about the individual from parents friends teachers okay so and there you, they can use observation interview psychological test also right so you to just mention these things in the exam nothing uh, difficult or hard right now correlation studies is very important so here it is there are two variables and are they related so the relation is called correlation it is a statistical tool okay now the extent can be minus 1 to plus 1 so zero correlation is negative correlation zero to minus 1 is a uh, uh, is a negative correlation Z zero correlation is zero there is no relation negative correlation is 0 uh, to minus 1 right fine and uh, positive correlation is like the uh, junk food and fatness so it is more 0 to 1 right this is a very easy part not not a big hard thing right fine so these are the things now next we have done, done uh, challenges last part is rationality 
the rationality we will be doing dr albert ellis i'll make it easy for you don't read this very boring i'll make it easy for you and some of these parts are, are uh, we have we don't have in the exams right so we are not going to do this just remember dr albert ellis uh, proposed rational emotive behavior therapy because this part is not there in the examination right they have re removed it from the syllabus so we have done all the parts of the chapter and uh, i hope you have understood the things let us revise it in one less than one minute right so uh, the key features of science prose predictability replication objectivity scientific cause systematic exploration and empirical evidence right you are doing good now history of psychology interestingly history is the origin is uh, in philosophy and then you have a scientific experiment 1879 1879 1879 william wundt german psychologist he made the first lab conducted experiments on humans right structuralism william wundt conscious brain functionalism james watt function, uh, uh, consciousness psychoanalysis sigmund freud unconscious brain behaviorism watson human behavior observable behavior right humanistic approach is uh, carl rogers okay and cognitivism is by ehrlich nasser using medical tools fine methods research experimental survey observation yes yes you can read case study and correlation methods correlation positive negative zero minus 1 to 1 right and uh, then you have uh, you have challenges objectifying human beings is bad predictability replication objectivity is hard to do and uh, psychology is in pre parabolic not yet fully formed condition got it so we have done the whole chapter in 30 minutes i hope you like it please do share it and please subscribe so that i can help you more and it will help me also feel good right it will motivate me and do like it also thank you